Welcome back, folks. Today we're going to continue our discussion on our favorite cartridges. And we're going to start down here at the bottom with the 6.5s. You know, the whitetail, the ideal cartridges for like whitetail size game, but capable for bigger. Absolutely. And the 6.5 Creedmoor is pretty much right now the, the, the king as far as what everybody goes to for whitetail. Widely popular. Widely popular. And one of the things that makes it so popular is just because you're able to get that velocity and, you know, get that downrange retained velocity in order to, to, to drop your game. Right. So, We've also introduced the 6.5 PRC, you know, into our gamut that we create more on steroids. Create more on steroids. You're pushing out further now than what you can do. So therefore, you know, like it, it is just really a efficient cartridge. And, and whenever you sit there and think about it, it is pushing, you know, at 3,200 feet per second. That 140 watt the 6.5 Creedmoor, you know, it's taking 2850. So the Creedmoor is pushing it at 2850. So it is really, really efficient for the, you know the size cartridge and everything that it is. And a lot of guys look for it because it's readily available. Right, but contrasting that to one of our tried and true cases, this is our 6.5 Weatherby. Super accurate, 3,250 feet a second with a 140 grain bullet, but it takes 10 more grains of powder to get there. So the barrel life is gonna have a little more recoil. The barrel life's not gonna be quite as good. That's still one of our favorites. But today, I'm going with a 6.5 PRC. Well, 6.5 PRC. If, I, if I'm going to sit there and choose between all the 6.5s that are out there right now, I'm going to choose a 6.5 PRC just because it is a more efficient burning cartridge. And it's also a very inherently accurate cartridge. But all those, although they're ideal for deer size game, then they are capable of taking elk at, at medium to extended ranges as well. Absolutely, and like the Creedmoor, you know, let's not just forget about its merits. You know, it is it is a slower cartridge, but it is still capable of those larger game. You know, like I brought down that odd at at 938 with it. It is very capable, but you have to stay within those limitations. Now, as we transition and go from the 6.5s to the 7s, now we're increasing that. We're going to a higher BC, higher weight, so therefore we're pushing that distance out there, you know, a lot further. That's exactly right. And, so keep, it, and keep in mind, you know, like it's like, if it performs at distance, it only gets better as it comes back. Okay. So like, and you're doing those, those shot placements and everything, you're gonna get more bang flops, you know, and, you know everything with it as the further bang closer you come back. Great. Yes, they are. So let's, let's start off with something that we came out with this year. This is the 6.5 PRC necked up to seven millimeter. Anytime you neck something up, it becomes more efficient. This is a seven SPRC. The merits of this is basically it'll shoot 180 grain bullet over 3000 feet a second. It'll do it with about 59 grains of powder, which makes it very efficient. You know, compared to a seven rim mag, one of our other all time favorites, it does it with about eight or 10 grains less powder. So your throat's gonna last longer, your barrel's gonna last longer, you're gonna have less recoil, and it's in a true short action, so your overall weapon length is gonna be an inch shorter too, so. Yep. That's what I used this past season, it did great for me. And it's gonna perform very well, even up into your brown bear. Like, I mean, you could use it for up to brown bear, Black bear for sure, it is going to perform and drop down a lot bigger game. I have, you know, brought down, had people that I know brought down moose with the sevens and everything, and Absolutely. you can definitely, definitely do that. Transitioning on into the seven STW, this is not what you would call a very efficient case, but it's very inherently accurate. And when you go to a bullet like the 195 Elite, it's got the horsepower behind it. And those have been shooting little bug holes for us for, for many, many, many years. Absolutely. Fantastic performers all the way around. So we've gone through the six fives and the sevens. Next week we're gonna get into the bigger bigger boys. How big a boy are you? 30 cal, 338. Thank you for joining us. That's our downrange segment brought to you by McWhorter Custom Rifles.